Hey there guys, this is NDM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. Right, so in the last episode we got to Mount Krennel and we began the escalation of climbing the mountain. Um, I did get the um, hot mount, or the Krennel hot spring water, which we need to use on a special thing that we will be coming across later on on the escalation of the mountain. But I'm not going to get into too much detail about that just yet because we actually haven't came across it. So there would be no point in me even telling you about it because you wouldn't know what the hell I'm talking about. Right, so we cleared out this area here. That's where we got the uh, where we got the spring water from. And the way that we need to go now is to bomb this wall out because in the other area down there was a Deku scrub that sold bombs. Which, to be honest with you, I am kind of running low on right now, come to think of it. I'm on five bombs here, and I can think of plenty of walls that will be needed to bomb out on the way to the top. So, <laughs> I'm hoping that I do get some bombs along the way. I probably will from killing enemies or getting something out, getting them out of pots or something, you know, like you usually do. Because uh, pots, pots are a great source of... Uh, provision for giving you items back, yeah. <laughs> Once you've pulled off their iron mask, these guys are no trouble whatsoever. Alright, so now we've just got to use the gust, the gust jar to suck their faces off. Well, their masks off, not their faces. And they look like miniature angry birds, kind of. <laughs> maybe that's where they got it. Maybe that's where they got the idea from, who knows. I never actually played that game either, to be honest with you. I have an iPod and an iPhone, I just haven't downloaded Angry Birds because Angry Birds is one of those games that's kind of overrated and I don't really like games that are overrated to be honest with you, especially if they're not fun. I mean, I, I don't know if Angry Birds is any fun, it's more like a tower defense kind of game. Well, from what I've seen of it, it looks like a tower defense game. I've never actually played it. So I don't know much about it. <laughs> There's all different kinds of Angry Birds, like different versions. There's a Star Wars Angry Birds game, I think. Someone made an, a Star Wars Angry Birds game. Hmm, hmm. Ah, of course, how silly of me. Hey, my boy, jump on, jump into that vortex over there for me. I think I've got an idea. And I've also downloaded uh, the Super Smash Bros. 3DS uh, demo. That game actually looks quite good from what i played of it. It looks like it's going to be a very good Smash Brothers game. Uh, it kind of plays a lot like Brawl. It looks like, yeah, it kind of plays a lot like Brawl, the game does. But in the demo, you're only limited to a certain amount of options. You can't get everything. You know, you can't play as every single character. You can't play in every single stage. You can't use certain settings. You can't go on. You can't go ahead and do story mode or anything like that. You can only do that once the game's been released. And the game's not been released here yet. It's only been released in Japan, um, but it gets released here on October 3rd, I think it is, and I think it gets released the same time in the US as well. Um, I'm not sure about that though, because <laughs> usually it's the United States that gets it first before us, and then we're always the ones that get it last over in Europe. Uh, you got yourself a heart, piece of heart. Now we got two pieces, collect two more to increase your life energy. And you'll be getting a lot of heart containers on here, um, on the escalation on the mountain too, because there are a lot of walls you've got to bum out, and a lot of these walls that you have to bum out contain heart containers, so... Like I say, we'll probably end up getting near enough to a full heart container by the time we get to the dungeon here. Alright, so we've got miniature little flying things. <laughs> okay, let's get our gustures. A gusture! A gusture! <laughs> I sound like I'm constipated. Alright, so there's a hole here. Alright, so that means that we got to turn Minish somewhere. No surprise there. Well, what you got to do is come over here and suck up all these uh, white fluffy things. And we will reveal a uh, Minish portal. So now we can turn Minish. And whatever you do, you don't want to go falling in these holes as Minish, as well as Tiny, or as, yeah, as Minish, because otherwise you're going to end up getting yourself damaged. Uh, I've done that before <laughs> by accident, and then I found out the hard way, so... Water is life for Krennel beans. The blue beans grow when you when you pour water on them, but the green beans like Krennel hot spring water. Krennel hot spring water can be found only in a spring on Mount Krennel. Well, really, the spring is closer to the base of Mount Krennel. Yeah, I've got it, so I don't need to go back down there and get it. <laughs> you got a kinstone piece. These mystic stones are said to bring happiness. And really, 
you would have. I think you would have came here first before you even found out about the hot spring water. So you could have spoke to that guy, and he would have told you the exact location of where the uh, hot spring water can be found. So then you don't have to go looking all over Mount Crenel thinking, what the hell am I supposed to do with this green bean here? I don't have anything that can make it sprout. Okay, so now we're in this cave here. I don't think you get a heart piece in here, actually, but uh, might as well come in here, you know, just for 100% completion sake. And to be honest with you, I actually haven't 100%ed this game yet. And I have completed the game on my Game Boy file. I just haven't got the one last heart container that I need to get, and that's the only thing that I need to get out of the whole game besides also the last figurine but the last figurine that you need to collect is also linked with um, getting the final heart container in the game but I need to make Beetle appear apparently on uh, on Town Square so then I can get the figurine of him but I haven't made Beetle appear in the Town Square you obviously need to fuse kinstones with someone to make Beetle appear because you can do that you can actually make people appear by using uh, Kinstone or fusing Kinstone pieces with people. You can get a Goron merchant in um in the Hyrule Town Castle. Um, yeah, in the Hyrule Town Castle, you can get a Goron merchant in there, and he'll sell Kinstones to you, so you can buy Kinstones from him. But they're really costy. You have to pay like 500 rupees to get get some of them. I think the cheapest one is 200 rupees, and that's the green one. And I think the most expensive one is the blue one. And then the red one's like in the middle. I think the red one is worth 400 or 300, something like that. I know it's a ridiculous amount that you have to pay for it. Right, so yeah, we can apparently pick up this gigantic bean even though we don't have the power bracelets yet. Spoiler alert, yeah, you do get power bracelets in this. Um, but there would be no surprise there because like every single Game Boy Zelda game has at least a form of a power bracelet. You know, you have the power glove in A Link to the Past, you have the power bracelet in um, in Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. Well, you also get the power glove in Oracle of Ages too. <laughs> Surprisingly, yeah, you do. All right, yeah, we got to get our uh, Krennel water here and uh, pour this onto the bean to make it sprout so we can get to the top of Mount Crenel and explore the rest of this mountain so let us climb this wasn't my job you know I didn't uh, commit myself to be a mountain climber but I guess that was a part of the uh, a part of the quest and it is my destiny to climb this mountain and find the um, minish known as Mellory I think it was Mellory or M yeah I think it was Mellory wasn't it the elder that we got to find of the uh, Krenel of Mount Krenel, the Minish Elder, who's apparently a smithy, so we can forge our sword. And yes, we have found ourselves a fairy fountain. So you know what I'm going to do? We are going to bag ourselves a fairy here, uh, just in case, because we will be coming up to a dungeon shortly, <laughs> and it will be nice to have a fairy when we enter it. You got a piece of heart. You, know, you now have three. You you now have three. Collect just one more to increase your life energy. So now we've got three pieces of heart, and with that in our collection, I don't know if there's any other areas I want to go to before we go to the actual area we are supposed to be going to, and it's this way, the area we are supposed to be going to is down here, but I don't know if there's anything else that I can do, which there probably isn't because we haven't got the uh, power bracelets yet, so we can't climb these walls. But once you get the power brace, that you can escalate the walls and climb up the mountain right to the summit. But unfortunately, we don't have the right equipment to do so, so we're going to have to wait until we actually do get that right equipment so we can then go ahead and scale. Right, okay, some of the puzzles in these caves are kind of tricky, especially the later, ca the, the later caves you come across in the mountain. You have to start pushing blocks and stuff to get across to navigate through the cave. I think the rarest kinstone pieces you can find besides the gold ones which are quest related anyway but the rarest ones that you can get besides the gold ones are um, are blue ones because I always seem to come across red ones and green ones but like it's very rare that you come across blue ones but the funny thing is you don't have to fuse blue ones with a lot of people 
So it's like there really is no use for blue ones anyway because you don't have to use the blue ones as much as you do with the red and the green. Uh, get out of here, you spiky choo-choo. Can't be dealing with you today. Right, let's fly across here, using Ezlo as a gl as a glider <laughs> to uh, f safely fly across the other side of the chasm. Right, is there any bombable walls here? Well, there's the ladder. We can climb this. Wait, what does the sign say? Crenel mines, Crenel wall. Well, we can't climb the Crenel wall yet because we don't have the right equipment. So we're just going to climb all the way up the ladder here and see where this takes us. I think we're actually drawing near towards the dungeon, but the dungeon's up here, by the way. Uh, but the only problem is we can't get up there because there's this hole here that we can't do anything with. We can't interact it. We can't interact with it in any way. The only interaction we can make with it is just to hide in it. Right, there is a bombable wall. Yeah, there is. A I do remember there being a bomb a uh, being a bombable wall here, so let's see what's inside this. Alright, another another business scrub, right, so let's get our Deku shield out. Deflex Deflection You can't hold you can't handle my skills, man. You can't handle my deflection skills. Okay, you got me. Let me t make it up to you. This fabulous grip ring is just perfect for a young mountaineer like yourself. Climb in style for only forty rupees. What a bargain. So what do you say, huh? Uh, yeah, sure. So there we go, we got ourselves the grip ring. You, now you can easily climb li cliffs and that you can that you could not scale before. Thanks a lot. I ain't got nothing to sell. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> you could have given me some bombs. I need some bombs. All right. So the grip ring also looks like the power bracelet in uh, Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. It kind of bears the same resemblance. It looks the same in design. But yeah, what the power, what the grip ring allows you to do is climb up walls, and it doesn't, it doesn't enable you to lift up certain things. I don't think, like you, could, like you could in previous games, like A Link to the Past, if you got the power glove, you could lift up, lift up larger rocks. Well, that's not the case in this game. The power bracelet is only used to climb walls uh, and climb down them, of course. <laughs> yes, that too. Right, so now I know where I definitely want to be going now, so we're going to climb up the big wall. The big, gigantic, scary wall. I'm going to shit my pants because I am now climbing this wall and I'm going to make a, like a trail of poop going down like a jet stream. And maybe I'll end up hitting a bird because those birds, I'm telling you, they annoy me. They fly over me and they poop on me all the time, so I'm going to get my revenge by pooping on them instead. Yeah, payback's a bitch. <laughs> right. So, yeah, this is where you want to go down here. Now, if you bomb this out, you can... Like, this is probably one of the most useful things you can ever come across before you go into the second dungeon. I'm telling you, this is more useful than finding heart containers. Uh, at this point, anyway. <laughs> if you come in here, you'll find yourself a fairy fountain. And I think you throw a bomb in here. Let me pick up the bomb. Don't want to go kamikaze myself here. And the fairy will appear, like, much like you did in uh, A Link to the Past. Welcome to the Adventurer's Spring. Did you throw the golden bomb into the spring or the silver bomb? Now what you have to do here, you don't say golden bomb or silver bomb, you have to be honest and say neither. You are, an on you are honest. I must reward such an honest adventurer with some of my power. And there you go, you got yourself big bomb bag. Now you can carry more bombs, which is a very useful upgrade, especially for the second dungeon. May you fare well in your quest. Because the second dungeon, you have to use bombs a lot. <laughs> I'm telling you, you have to use bombs to bomb out walls. You have to use bombs to kill certain enemies and things in a much more sufficient way. Uh, so yeah, bombs are a very useful and handy tool to have. And I'm being bombarded by a bunch of falling testicles here. Uh, and that's not nice, I don't like it. Get away from me. Alright, so now we're at the top. Alright, I think there is also a bombable wall we can bomb out down here as well. 
which I think will give us another heart container. So we're going to go down here and see. Uh, oh no, there isn't a bomb of a war, but however, there is a cave that we can go into. And we can fuse kinstones with this guy. You want to fuse kinstones? Of course. Uh, sadly, we don't have the right piece. <laughs> so I better remember to come back here. I don't know what he says to you. I'm the Krenel Hermit. I left the world to pursue a life of quite reflection. You seem to be a, but a child, and yet you climb this forbidding mountain alone. I must reward you, your courage with a little information. Have you not seen strange patterned walls as you climbed this mountain? Bombs. Bombs are the answer. Ah, uh, I already knew that. But thanks, wise old man. Thanks, wise old man, for helping me. Even though your help didn't really suffice <laughs> in any way. Right, so you know what, guys? I'm going to end off the video here and continue on the next episode. So in the next episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, we make way for the second dungeon, pretty much. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. See you in the next video. And goodbye.